Welcome guys back to another episode of RPG Maker. Now, we've made quite a few changes to our system, and I made quite a few of them off-camera, quotations. Um, but, I will have to be honest, um, the changes were very small and minor, um, and just included a few um, little snippets, like I added a conditional branch, so you've got to make sure you add that. And I also, um, the reason why is because when this plant dies, it actually has a second form of the evil guy who joins your team. Now, um, I also changed his name to Henahito. Um, uh, NPC, I don't know. Does it really matter? So, uh, th th that's one of the things I changed. Um... And I, obviously this third state is uh, nothing, so after you join your party, there's nothing there. So it kind of is weird because it just like appears nowhere, but that's fine, it's part of the game. It's a freaking, um, uh, what do you want to call it, like a RPG, so if these things happen. So essentially we have switches, these conditional branches, and um, there are public variables that essentially very similar to our kind of ambition system we have but what they are is they're kind of on and off switches so they're booleans which is on and off like a true and false um, whereas the other ones are number based so that's why um, we are using switches so by default um, this thing is on so I'll just go through the system with you so you spawn here or well, this is the transfer but you spawn here right you move down you touch this event this event then instantly activates because you have to move down under it. Right? It only activates if you exist. Also, if A is off, which we turn back on. So this is a way that, because uh, normally what would happen is if this had a graphic, the graphic would still exist. So we'll just give us a graphic, just for effect. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. All right. And if we spawn the player here, just for effect, um... Now when we start the game and we move down, we can't move down because it's below. There we go. See, we do the plant thing, all that stuff doesn't matter. And then I also added a special ability that will one shot the plant. No, it won't one shot, it'll two shot it. Um, I also I changed it so it's 70%, he does that kind of weird, um, comes back to 4 HP thing, because there were situations where even if you attacked him twice, you don't even have to use the special OP thing I gave the character, um, if you attacked him twice, it would just get like 60%, then finish him off, you know, the, it'd be a weird situation. I also added all this, don't worry, I'll show you these scripts, I downloaded them off the internet, it took a little while to set them up, I've got all the freaking textures in the description below so you can download these textures and import them into your game I'll show you exactly how to do it and there's no problems and you can use all the textures that I have so as soon as it happens he pops up and does all stuff and he disappears right and then he joins my team see now I can't talk to the girl character but she's still here because she because she's still being rendered but because it doesn't and that's where you would have the um second uh, event page right but in this instance it doesn't have a, a character set script so it doesn't matter one thing you will notice is that when this character spawns he kind of spawned me up a bit meaning that um i've just got to double check that this is right meaning i'm just going to edit this script here and check that i mean placed i know i should be placed right here because you're going to spawn in front of the person and you're going to face down so that's, that's just a mistake so so essentially we're just making the player stay where he is and facing him downwards and then we're having some text of that was brilliant, you proved yourself worthy uh, and then you say thanks, who are you behind the mask and then I'm the one who will give you the power, the king's hand in his power if you so desire um, we'll just fix it up do you, and then let's go, is this is this king evil and no I've only done one which is let's go which is where he joins you otherwise he just doesn't and then once you do that he will disappear regardless of what you do so uh, it's not great right now it's doing a bit bit but you shouldn't have stopping animation that's one thing you shouldn't even need a walkie animation so I'll go through all the scripts now and then I'm going to um, finish 
up and actually do some work into this episode. All the scripts are located in the description below. I actually will just upload a bunch of text files with them. Uh, actually, no, I won't. I will um, go get the uh, sites with them. I'll give you the direct links to the sites uh, because none of them have ads for them. So none of the people are earning money for the ads. So say how many you give you sign finding you how to do it. I will show you how to do it. So um, the main ones is the enemy HP bars, the Yanfi uh, engine ace, which um, makes that engine. Uh, I'm just going to myself here. And I'll show you what it is. It's this thing here. See how you, see how you can... Um, so if I add more wood characters, you know, you can set which character you want to attack and stuff. And a bunch of stuff like that. Where this isn't normally in the game. So that's Yanfi Engine. Um... Another thing that you've got is the item menu, which is a brand new item menu. It's just... It's just Slightly different. Um, I'll be showing that bit off, and then there's just a few fixes for the battle engine because there's the, uh, problems with the battle engine and the victory aftermath, after, aftermath, which had the you know you love a job and that little experience and the goodies page, which is all fully customizable. I will show you how to customize those right now. So we have multiple things. Uh, these are all the quotes for the customizable um, drops. So for example, my guy goes. Yahoo, damn, when he wins, and w when he levels up, he goes, level up the power, and when he, uh, when drops, ah, he says, goodies all mine. Um, I, I couldn't get it, so they were random, I, I didn't realize they were just, uh, that's all the area he's going to sp say, but, um, it happens. Um, I haven't found a way to re be able to rename the characters, but that's sad, but, so I've just nicknamed them, this, as this character's got nothing, but, that's what we're doing today. Um, I did set up classes, which is not why I'm really happy with this character because I had its full class set up. I'm going to show you how I set up the classes because one of the hardest things, I'm going to be a new class day, by the way, and new actor. So what I basically did is I got the witch and I obviously had to change back some of them up, up one like this and you get a new area. Um, and then what you have to do is you got these special parameters and you have to add new ones and stuff like that and all this other junk. And essentially, these this character can equip light armor and magical armor. He can't equip general armor, which a lot of characters can, because he's not a general armor person. Maybe I do want to have general, but I can define what is general, not general. He can only equip staffs right now, which I don't really think is particularly good. I think he should be able to equip a lot more. This character can equip uh, uh, hammers. And uh, can also equip magic armor and small shields. Thieves can protect uh, daggers. Archers can do bows. Samurais can do katanas. So what we do here is we actually look here and we can see all the weapon types. And you see the staff is a big thing. And now if we actually go into items, you can see oh sorry uh, weapons. You can see there's quite a few axes. And if we go into the staff area. These are all stuffs, and there's stuff like magic stuffs. Even though they've all got the same text, it, it doesn't really matter. It's just the fact that they do. And there's even guns, too. It's quite a few. So there's only a few, and we'll be building our own, too, just to do different things. But So how I got all this information, because one of the biggest things is what does TGR mean? And so what does HRT mean? What does EVA, cr CRY, whatever that stuff mean? This is what I do. You go to help. I only found this like on the video, and you get like a window, and we'll kind of make this full screen. And then you go down to reference material, and you look at parameters and formulas. And this has everything. So HRT means your accuracy, EVA means your evasion, but they also mean different things. Yep, this is super annoying. TRG means TP regenerate. But TGR means the chance of being targeted by a enemy attack. Yep. <laughs> That's really close. And not just that, there's a few that are, I believe, pretty much the exact same. I mean, it's just, it's fine, but... So, um, th there's a bunch of systems they built, like counterattacking and reflecting back a magic attack and nullifying and, I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna allow them or not, but 
Might not, I'm allowing it. Uh, and then there's four damage rates, so maybe you want scouts to receive less damage from map terrain. Um, you can have map terrain damage you, which is pretty interesting. Now, one big thing is how do I get those little level up like little arrows? Because without a little script I have, which is called, um, gee, do I even have it? Wait, oh yeah, yeah. There's a little script I've got to upload. Um, for victory aftermath, I'm actually going to put this one in. I'm going to create my own little text document as well as giving documentation. Don't worry, I'll give a little link so you can give them more. But I'm also going to have a a pastebin file of um each one if you want. Um, oh, not of each one, but of this one especially because there's a special little thing you get to add. This little section here. This is from a different thing. I'll give documentation for that too. It just fixes that little icon because normally it's an arrow, but in some fonts it's not an arrow. So what we do is we basically just get an icon index. Yep. Normally that's going to be quite. That seems very big if you know how small the index is. The reason why is because I have. I've got no clue where I put my stuff. Yeah, okay, it's in a system, icon set, yeah. That's quite a few. I know it's a lot bigger than it looks, but that's quite a few, and there's room for more. So this is right now my current system I'm going to use, and it, it's, it combines multiple ones, and that's why I got, <laughs> yeah, I know this. Oh, look, there's loads of legend ones, and there's also text and stuff like that. So I think this is going to be quite good for a lot of people. I think a lot of people love this thing. So if you want it, you can easily download it from the description below. Um, I, I don't actually remember where I got it from. I actually combined it myself, but I do remember getting quite a few of them from different sites and stuff. Um, so I can't actually give too much support for that, so it's not particularly good. I'm sorry. Um, but one was did come with the game, and then the other one just came from a variety of sites. Um, you can find them if you really need to. Um, other than that, that's basically it. So what I've done is I've did that, and then we're actually going to start now making something. So I've showed you everything. That went pretty darn quick. Um, I'm really happy that went quick, because the first time I did this, it went really slow, which is the reason why I've done a lot more work, it seems. So, if we look at accounts, we have, um, Henahito, which is Hen, oh, sorry, I can't cover properly, and uh, that's not, and that's Hito. Um, which, uh, I did make that change because I was like, why isn't it coming up? Because I was like, oh, you know, strange person. And it was actually Henna. I thought, oh, nah. Um, because I was like, Hito Hen doesn't seem right. Hen Hito doesn't seem right. So Henna Hito makes much more sense. Um, which so literally means the strange one. Um, well, strange person, but yeah, the strange one. We can say that. <laughs> um... Yeah, so this character is both special and magical, like the witch, like a lot of magic people. The priestess is like a special magical and has a hammer. Ooh, hammer. So obviously there's skills that you can get, and I'm going to be going through this a bit later. So Corrupted Mage uses a lot more evil skills, which is normally not uh, normally only available to those... Um, uh, I'm just trying to think. Um, normally only available to the evil people. So the fact is that we get availability to them. Um, so essentially the stats are the exact same. Basically for Eva, hit, and uh, crit. So e evasion, hit, and critical. Um, the hit chance. And then TJ is the chance of you being hit. Uh, targeted by an ability. And that's going to be different. Obviously. So our characters can kind of be much more in the background. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. I really like this, the fact that you can change those parameters and stuff. And you can make him, oh, action time, special flags, yeah. Collapse effect. I don't know, it's, it's, it's really kind of cool, I like him. So, we can add skills, and one of the best things is, we at level 1, we obviously want to give him attack, right? Because I think everyone, does everyone actually automatically learn it? Um, everyone doesn't learn it, okay. Well, Strong Cleave is actually level 5, but that's fine, Strong Attack. So, I don't know, it's weird that... So what we're going to do is we're going to give him a bunch of attacks, um, and because he's, like, evil, we're going to just kind of look for attacks and find, like, evil ones. I don't know, it's still evil. 
because uh, he's like evil, evil, evil person. So if we look for his skills, we can see there's quite a few. Mm. Nuclear. Uh, deals defense, ignoring damage. Oh yeah, oh that's wow. Former is what's aim at? Uh, magical power. A dot. I don't understand these whole things. Um. Uh, I say the user's attack power times two. Well, that's really strong. Okay, I understand this work. So this this is actually very very similar to um League of Legends. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh man. Ah, uh, no. Like that. Oh, guys. Um, the reason this is very similar to the Legends is how it works. Is things have a default value. And then they gain, they scale off your attack. So we, that's very interesting how we want to scale it. But obviously it's dark, so darkness seems kind of cool. So it's 400 damage plus the A map, but it doesn't, um, so this is damage. So the magical defense kind of counters it. So it really basically does 400 damage plus the difference between your defenses. And variance is um, just basically how much less or more. Whether or not I can crit. Um, there's a few other things. For example, um, um, yeah, elements. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for dark. Basically, he's a dark character, so we want to make sure he uses dark abilities. So I, I thinking darkness is pretty good because it's 400 base damage. But I know it's not that good compared to most people because they only have like um if you look at some like, other classes, I have you looked at like a witch, it's got magic deflect, enhanced spell, nightmare, right? Enhanced spell and nightmare kind of thing, right? So if we look at I don't know these attacks. It looks like you can't find them. Yeah, here we go. Uh M A T. Uh that's the magical damage. Oh, that's interesting. That's really cool. So it increases your MAT. And magic effect uh, increases your me for one turn effects any metro attacks. That's really cool. But the first one really is nightmare. Puts all enemies to sleep and greatly lowers the MDF. Pretty interesting. Now one thing we are going to change is we're going to change the soldier to a witch. Only just because he's pre generic and only has casual clothes. So when we drop him into the battlefield, you can see what he has. Oh, <laughs> oh man. I see. Oh, so he starts off with magic, but I don't know why he starts off with that, that's interesting. Okay, so he does start off with fire, but I don't know how he got that ability. There we go. That's the fire damage. How does he get that? Magic. Oh, here we go. They just put them out of order. So one is fire, two is sleep, and three is ice. So I see. So you want to kind of use those things. Okay, okay. So we kind of want much more of a darkness move. So do we just add like a kind of a darkness? Because darkness is not really a level one ability. It's quite strong compared to fire. Fire, fire two is much. Fire two is about the strength of uh, darkness, right? So uh, giving him instantly this div uh, darkness is not particularly good. Um, divine curse. Maybe well, these are just absorbing things. So, 
Like life drain isn't doesn't sound that bad actually. I think life drain's fine. Cure raise poison. Uh, I think if we give him like some darkness move. Um. Doesn't seem there's a lot of darkness moves. Uh. It's like no darkness moves. Oh, like, uh, I think we're gonna add a bunch. Because I mean, if we look at this witch, she has like zero darkness moves. Because there's barely any. So I think we're going to add a bunch of darkness moves. I don't know what we should add though. So let's, let's add a few. We'll add like maybe four. I'm going to call this like um, Dark Bolt. Now we're going to find Dark Bolt kind of icon. Um, because that, this is, you know, a quick game kind of thing, I don't think it really matters too much. Uh, but I mean, if we look at other icons like Mystic, you know, there's always these kind of character things. I don't know where that character is. Oh, I see, so they kind of use these things. So, I mean, that looks fine for Dark Bolt, even just like a black thing. Like, that. Uh... Bolts of dark energy. And it's basically it's gonna be as strong as five. Um it's magic for one enemy only in battle. Damage um essentially HP damage. And it's gonna be dark and it's gonna be He's 150, 150 scaling of zero magic. Uh, do this and maybe two times your magical. That's times two. I don't know, like 200? Oh, so I see 100 times. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So it's like the scaling is. A hundred times your magical, so double. Uh, that's very cool, and that should be the exact same as fire. Um, now, fire d will have a chance to preset them on fire. No, it doesn't, okay. Hit type. Uh, magical. Um, so we kind of want like a, I don't know, like a dark. I don't know what the animations look like. Ball of, ball of darkness? Do I have like a ball of darkness? And then probably just go dark one. So, here's the name. Um, Uses dark bolt. Okay, required weapon. You don't require any weapon, and you don't require any weapon. Um, fire does not require anything. So you need as dark bolt. Um, no effects. That's fine. Great. Done. Now this is going to kind of be the same thing. This is essentially going to be dark bolt two, and it's going to have a HP damage, dark. 400, um, I'll just do a quick one, 400, and that's fine. So essentially it's just higher damage, and the variance is obviously going to be, uh, I'll make it 25, a little higher variance, um, a stronger burst of dark energy. And it's going to be magical, uh, I don't know, 8 seems pretty good. I don't know what uh, Fire 2 does. Fire 2 is 12, okay. Um, 
Um, and is a magical attack with an animation of Dark and I know that looks fine. And you use Dark Bolt too. That's pretty easy. Now he's gonna find a better Dark Bolt. I think. Something like this would be fine. That uh, looks pretty good. And uh, that looks pretty nice, but like I want to use these later. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna use like a slightly lighter color. I mean, this can be slightly lighter, and that one can be slightly darker. Guys, these are pretty darn good to start off with. So we're gonna have Crypto Mage begin off with level one. Darkness. Dark Bolt 2. And it's just gonna be the level one dark bolt two. Pretty nice. And then level two base gonna kind of maybe do some more um defensive skills now, maybe. Um like enhance, that'd be interesting. Magic torrent. Because all this stuff isn't really necessary right now. I'm gonna be doing all this off camera, but I do definitely want to show you how to create an actor. So if you create a new actor by changing the maximum, you can a name class. This is craft a mage, and you set the initial level and the max level. This is quite interesting, right? And then you see you got the quotes, and then you set the body of what he wears. So this guy's gonna wear no all the magic cloaks seems fine, right? Right now. And that's it. You're done. There's nothing else to be done. Items untouched, weapons, armors untouched. And touch all of these things. Now, one thing you may want to know is you may want to know the scripts of this. So I'm just going to keep them on frame, um, just so you can see it. I remember with this, you have to insert and then go conditional branch. That's fine. And then just copy and paste everything in the this statement. Uh, you will make, you want to make sure this is off. So it's just this. So you just do that the if statement. Um, and then you just put that on there. There is a weight of 50 frames. And this is going to be auto run. Um, this could be a parallel process, but you don't really want the player to be moving while this is happening. So, I don't know. You probably want to adjust this down a bit, maybe to like, I don't know, 40, because it doesn't really matter if he's halfway through his frame, because he'll still walk down probably. Um, yeah. There we go, that's basically it. There's nothing else really. Uh, the rest is the same. Yeah, actually, the rest is completely the same. Oh, so for this, uh, we turn off one once he's done. Because one was to turn with him on. So we turn it back off again. And since you cannot turn it back on, it means it's always going to be off. Um, essentially, making him use this. Because this is always going to say no. Um, and we want to say... So you can't say switch one is off. That's really weird that we can't say that. And then we also have a control cell switch is three, and that just determines. Um, I don't know if we're turning A on. Oh, cause that. Okay, so essentially then we turn A on. So we turn two on and A on. Two makes um, this thing turn on, and A turns this thing on. I don't know where we have two of them going on, but we do. Who cares? It doesn't really matter. Um, and then once he's done, he turns B on, and he also turns. Um, Two off. There you go. And then that's all he does. You can just copy that, and then we'll work on that next time. And then the third one is he does nothing. It's just be blank page. That's it. Obviously, this guy doesn't fit here, so we will move him. Um, this hasn't changed. This just turns A on and one on. A just doesn't even need to be on. That can be deleted. Um, also, you can turn this off so because there's not going to be a handling when things don't apply, so you can just do that. And then uh, this does new work, so there we go. Now we can place our player here, and we're done. Now, I'm going to be working on the next episode if you guys are interested on uh, finishing this, so change party members. Also, going to be doing a bit of um, behind the scenes, um, making sure all the spells are set up. I'm going to probably spend a few hours, not a few hours, but just an hour getting uh, spells in the game. Get making sure he has spells. I can balance them, really. But I'm going to add a little bit of balance so you know, he doesn't get a really powerful spell before someone else or whatever like that. 
because this game is going to kind of be released, but it's not really going to be released. It's just going to kind of be released in a single workshop for people to download. So everything's in the description below. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, there's a lot of stuff in the description below. Uh, I'll just go over all the stuff in the description below again if you guys want it. Um, it's this icon set I built here, which is needed if you want the special arrows, because the special arrows are here, and they're not in the default one. I guess you could maybe use these if, but there's like no blank one. Um, also, script wise, this is the only one which will have a um, actual pastebin link since there's a little bit added at the end. Um, there will be credits to both those sources. Um, uh, and if you want to do it yourself, you can. But you basically just get this bit off the second site. And then you just add it before the B end of file. And before this end here. So since these ends link up like this, and then this end ends the entire statement. And then the rest are all in the description below for you to go and download at your will. Uh, make sure you do put them in this order. So your HP bars are the top, Battler second, hey, Iron Menu third, Revival Fix fourth, and Victory Aftermath Aftermath fifth. Make sure you try to put them in that order. Um, anyway, guys, see you next time. And also make sure that you insert. See, you do that, and then you get these. Make sure you insert them uh, in the materials section and not in the main processes. Anything else? So see you guys next time. Um, all things in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.